Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So today we are in the forest and we're trying to find crocodiles. Okay, I'm just kidding. You guys are in my plant, which is a fake plant, so don't worry, I'm not you know, harming plants right now. I just literally had nowhere to put you guys, like at all. Um, <laughs> this is such an LOL. You know what? It doesn't even matter. You're here to listen to me speak. So, um, I have two appointments today. Today is my dietitian appointment. I'm putting my earrings in, by the way. These are kind of heavy. I try not to wear super heavy earrings, so I'm not sure how my ears are gonna react to this, but whatever. Yeah, I have my dietitian appointment today. I'm pretty nervous. Um, I remember the last update I gave you guys about getting my blood work, which I need to get done because my psychologist needs it. Last update is like, I wasn't gonna get an appointment until April with the doctor that I wanted, but instead I'm going through something else. So I'm actually going to get my blood drawn today. I'm currently fasting, I'm starving, but so these are my earrings that I'm wearing today. I don't know, I'm actually digging them and I'm about to go film some cameos. Um, my link for cameo is down below. I'm having so much fun with cameos. I usually respond to them within a couple days unless you get the 24 hours. Then obviously I respond within 24 hours, but I'm having like tons of fun with it. So if you guys want a little shout out or you want me to roast a friend or like anything, I'm here for you. Sometimes falling down is part of the process. That uncomfortableness is where change happens, where we evolve, where we turn that weakness into strength. The struggle that you are going through is a part of the process and you will make it through. This next clip, I was debating not even if I wanted to post it, but this was me kind of in the middle of a silent breakdown. Um, obviously, I'm not crying. There's no like panic attacks or anything crazy like that. But, like, in my brain, my brain was fighting against me, um, almost trying to find an excuse to stop my outpatient program. Um, I was kind of feeling like maybe this isn't going to work. But after my little silent breakdown here... Um, I did start to feel better, but I kind of just wanted to put this clip in here for documenting my journey through this. So yeah, can you please be kind? Kind words, please. Hey guys, so I had my appointment with my dietitian, and I know I said that I like wasn't going to talk about the whole outpatient program, but I feel like I do want to share my journey to an extent, like my thoughts and things like that like there is a lot of stuff that's like personal to me so I won't be sharing but like some stuff I do feel safe enough to talk about and uh one of the things is like I'm scared terrified really like this is what I've wanted forever uh was to get help in the area I truly truly need it like this is where I need the help with the binging but like I thought the dietitian was okay I didn't think she was going to be structured I had a feeling it was going to be very much like intuitive eating and no calories or anything like that but I left myself leaving the meeting feeling like I needed something structured like I feel like I need the therapy which I'm getting with my psychologist. But like now I need something structured that's going to help me with weight loss. And it's like, oh, my stomach's growling, sorry. My dietitian like doesn't want to talk about weight loss. And my psychologist doesn't want to talk about weight loss. Which I understand because this is an eating disorder clinic. But it's like, I actively need to lose weight or I'm going to die. So I'm scared. Um, the way that they want me to eat, I'm scared. 
Like, they want me to listen to hunger cues and eat when I'm craving something. Don't hold back, pretty much. Like, no calories, like, nothing. No moderation. It's like, when you're craving something, eat it. And when you're hungry, eat it. They literally want me to have snacks in the day, which I never do. And... They, like, don't care what type of snacks. Like, they asked my favorite food, and I literally said rice, hot Cheetos, and ice cream. <laughs> that was my top three responses. And they said, okay, we'll have ice cream. Have hot Cheetos. I'm just, like, so scared right now. Like, I kind of feel myself like I might have an anxiety attack. I'm not very sure, but uh, I feel like anxious and fidgety and I'm hyper fixating on diets that I could be doing to lose weight while actively trying to get help with an eating disorder but they don't want me to diet but it's like how am I gonna lose weight <laughs> how am I gonna lose weight this is like real honest to god truth this is like literally how I'm feeling right now it's like, I, I know I need to trust the process. But how can I trust something that isn't like... Like the goal isn't to save my life. By saving my life, I need to lose weight. I don't know, I'm just confused. I, this is where I'm at right now. Completely where I'm at right now. So this is something that Demi Lovato said, and I just kind of wanted to share it. Recovery is something that you have to work on every single day, and it's something that doesn't get a day off. I really like that they said this because every day I have to actively work on this, and I'm just like, in this moment, I've made no progress whatsoever. Um, but this isn't something that I can change overnight and my psychologist even in just the two appointments I've had with her she has taught me that it's okay to not be perfect this is not black and white um there's no failure non-failure there's gonna be ups and there's gonna be downs and I like have to accept that um I'm just I don't know, new emotions are arising, you guys, and it's making me very nervous, but I was warned about this. Um, but on a lighter note, here's a grocery haul for you guys. All right, you guys, so we just got back home because we went to Trader Joe's and then we stopped and got a drink. This is just lemonade with two pumps of vanilla, I promise you. My whole ass just missed my mouth. <laughs> if you like lemon loaf, you'll like this. Start off with some real plants. This is called the coffee plant. So we gotta take care of that. We already have the money tree and it's thriving. So, and then this is a fern and a clay pot. Isn't it so cute? So as I'm hauling, my girlfriend is gonna be putting the groceries away. Kill two birds with one stone. We got some ciabatta rolls, because we're gonna have like sandwiches with those. I got some baked cheese crunchies. Pretty much just knock off Cheetos. <laughs> um, got two bags of this red lentil pasta. Got some avocados. I got some plantain chips, which I'm super excited to try. This is just for like a soup that my girlfriend is gonna be making. Uh, she just got already cut up stuff for that. So 10 out of 10 recommend. These are Trader Joe's chocolate coconut almonds. One of my most favorite things there. Got herself a broccoli moment. 
These are some fresh jalapeno peppers. We got some zucchini, some squash, some mango chunks, two of these grapefruit juices. My girlfriend actually got these. I've never had grapefruit juice. I don't think I would like it very much. Got some fresh cilantro, strawberries, because we're all hooting babes around here. We got a health aid kombucha. That won't be touching my lips. That'll be touching my girlfriend's. Because, ew. Pineapple chunks. Watermelon chunks. This is a Chinese inspired salad. That's for my girlfriend. We got some of these Mediterranean style hummus snack packs. Two of those. Three of those, <laughs> I didn't even realize. We got some pepper jack cheese for our sandwiches. Got some chicken taquitos. I love taquitos. This is chocolate peanut butter mochi, which I'm excited to try. We got two bags of stuffed gnocchi and we're gonna put it with um, pesto. So this is potato gnocchi stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. So unique, unique. I'm excited to try that. We got some artichoke and jalapeno dip. Um, the pesto, so that's gonna be for those gnocchis. I love pesto. We got two more broccolis. Like we stocked up y'all. Got some radishes, cause I love radish. Carrots. Got ourselves some apples, some mandarins, which some people call them cuties, some people call them clementines, I don't know. I don't know what they're really called, but those say mandarins, so. Got two bags of basmati rice. This is two cans of tomato paste. Oh, we also got these in the plant section. Look how freaking adorable. These are gonna look so good in the living room, I feel like. Got some chicken pot stickers. Two things of this, uh, they're raviolis. It's just pasta stuffed with cheese. So two of those. Got some turkey breast cutlets. I've never had just like a turkey breast cutlet, so. I'm very interested in trying that. Two things of ground chicken. Got some roasted garlic chicken sausage. Oven roasted turkey breast lunch meat for the sandwiches. Sweet Italian style chicken sausage. Oh, more um, oven roasted turkey breast lunch meat. We got three of these chicken tender packs just to stock up on. And then last but not least, some chili or chili <laughs> and cheese tamales. So that is a huge grocery haul that is gonna last hopefully a couple weeks, so yeah. You make me kind of nervous You do that on purpose